Okay, hello everybody. Obviously, I'm not at home, my studio. We're gonna do a quick sketchbook tour because uh, um, I'm on the road. I'm here with Christian Nee. Hello. Known for his uh, affiliation with, what was it, um, North Korea? Yeah, yeah, North Korea. Yeah. Um, the Taliban. Oh my god, dude, I, I, I gotta restart. <laughs> okay, okay, do we have to? No, no, I'm kidding. No, it was Proko. Okay, um, yeah. But, you know, also a dictatorship. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Steven Davidian, 3D artist, modeler guy who helped me with my course and all that stuff. Hello. Okay. So, yeah, anyway. Um, we're just gonna look at this stuff. We gotta make some kind of content. We don't gotta, but here's content. Whoa, we're gonna jump into the sketchbook. I might sketch something. Uh, there's some pages I have to hide, but we're just gonna dive right into it. Okay, so we're, um, yeah. This is actually gonna be dedicated to our friend Cynics, because he's usually in the sketchbook tours, but not today. You know what I mean? He's not here. Replacement cynics. Replacement cynics, yeah. Yeah, uh, so sorry about all the noise. There's, um, we're at a coffee shop. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so most of this is actually seen before on the channel, but not in a specific tour. Um, I think I drew this for a video at one point. But, yeah, a lot of this is going to be looking into the past for me and remembering, oh, yeah, I did draw that, didn't I? Um, I think this, I was trying to understand how to... Uh, fit the hips and ribs in like this idealized form, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so yeah, feel free if you have any thoughts or um, random non-related topics. I, I like your line quality quite a bit. Oh, like, thanks, man. How do you start these exactly? Is it is it more of just like a loose sketch and then you go through with, you know, a more confident pencil or? Yeah, yeah, it's just like, kind of like this. I'm like, oh wait, that's, put a nose on that thing and an eye and you can kind of turn into something. Right. Yeah, something I found when I am doing sketches in a sketchbook is that I, I will be kind of tight, you know? I'll draw like... Oh, like construction? Yeah, yeah, I'll construct drawings, you know, and try yeah. to be creative with that. And it ends up kind of falling flat a lot of the time. Falling flat, yeah. Cool. Are most of these from imagination? Uh, yeah, these are just... I wouldn't say imagination being the right word. It's more just like exploration and it ends up becoming something. Like it's not like I imagined that first and then drew it. I see. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this is for the fall fashion challenge. And then, yeah. Do you ever do like the sketchbook tours on the, the Proco channel? Uh, I think we'd like to. Um, yeah. I, I, I guess uh, not, not recently. Um, if you'd like to try one out. Oh. Ah. Uh, these were uh, concepts for a game that Steven and I and Ryan were working on. Let's skip past that. Let's skip past that. Yeah. We wanted to do like a dark circus kind of, um, almost like Little Nightmares. Uh, by the way, if you're watching this, I'm not planning to edit this video at all. I'm just going to upload it raw, just for something for y'all to watch. So you're going to hear the birds chirping, doors opening, people walking by, talking, looking at us like we're weirdos. All right, yeah. So here's the idea for the game. Remember that? It was like, yeah. you have to find a puzzle. You have to find your way to like, orient the things to make the face. And the ballerina as well. We should make a game, yeah. dude. So good old times, simple, simple times for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this was in a sketchbook dive video. So people watch the process for that. If you're curious to see how this was drawn, there is a video, check out the sketchbook dives. How similar is your uh, drawing process to your painting process? Like when you're drawing in a sketchbook, are you practicing painting? Huh. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty similar because I'm using it, it, like the same strokes, like in the way I'm, you know, doing pencil strokes in, in the form or the wireframe of the whatever it is that I'm drawing. Right. I'll do the same thing with paints, but it's just a little bit more complicated because you have to keep in mind color, light, value texture and all that. So it's, it's pretty similar. Um, it's just like a, a pencil stroke, but wider. So I do mainly 3D stuff, right? As Unfortunately, you know. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, looking at your sketchbook, I really want to get into 2D. Is there a guide or a map of some sort that I could, <laughs> that I could follow? Like, thanks for the plug. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the course is doing really well. Meds map, if you want to learn how to 2D paint and all that stuff. Um, glad you asked that. It's going really well, I think. Um, 
Yeah, these were um, studies for. Well, I'm actually in a, I'm in a 3D total book with a bunch of other artists. It was for um, what's it called? Female superhero something or other. Yeah. Cool. 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 And here were just thumbnail studies from Instagram photos and sergeant paintings and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, there's an ant! Hey, buddy. Do you, to, do you want to get him in the sketchbook Let's tour? Get him in the tour. Do you want to see what drawing he chooses? Yes. Okay. Got him? He's not. Oh, wait, he's not. Wait, oh, wait. He's going there naturally. He's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's not cooperating. <laughs> you gotta give him sugar. Okay, the ant, the ant is not interested. The, the ant has rejected my artwork. Yeah. Cringe. All right. Mother Nature. Yeah. I'll skip a couple pages because he's writing on it. All right, cool. You can draw any angle or pose and just frame it as a magic card illustration. The character doesn't have to be a designed in frame, it can be made to be cropped. So sketch something, then crop it, and then it could be your illustration. Magic, splash, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's more of a note to myself. Yeah. Recently, what do you find yourself drawing when you open up a sketchbook? I don't know, I haven't drawn in a sketchbook in a while. I was hoping to do that on this trip, but we got a hike or whatever. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> I like seeing your sketches a lot. Thanks, so, man. I can tell that you're having a lot of fun when you do these. You yeah. Know, it's like, um, I get the impression, I mean, at least when I do artwork, I feel like I'm trying to make something that people will see. So I'm, I'm thinking oh, about, yeah, yeah. you know, how will this image look to other people? You know, but I can tell that you're kind of just like drawing what's interesting to you more so. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, that definitely contaminates my process too as well. So it's, you know, This was the drawing I told you about when I looked at it when I was uh, tired, and it looked really weird to me. Oh, wow. Uh, mm. Looks fine now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think these are sketches for trying to come up with some kind of world building. Uh, yeah. Designed to make you feel uncomfortable, demigod. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, who are the artists that you think of when you're trying this? And I know you mentioned uh, Eliza. Oh, she's great, yeah. yeah Eliza Ivanova. <coughs> is, it, is, it an, an, is it Inova? An, 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 Lisa I'm, Ivanova. Uh, Ivanova, okay. Yeah, it's, I believe it's Bulgarian. Yeah, she's, uh, it's not that I think about her work or anything, um, but she has a sort of freedom uh -huh. to her work that is really admirable. <laughs> ah yes, preparing for mermaid and preparing my Friday flash sale back then. When was this? I don't even remember. I uh wasn't able to do mermaid. Wow, is that the first dude? What? In the sketchbook. Is that the first guy? Oh wow, okay. Now there were dudes before this. I really like how you like the male anatomy. Um, uh, it's very rigid and rough. Oh, like freaking Mount Rushmore? <laughs> no, no, it's really cool. Um, yeah. Is there something that you wish you uh, could, do better, could do better in your sketches? Is there something I wish I could do better in my sketches? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, huh. Having more, like... You know, less of like, hey, this is a skill that I want to showcase, but rather an idea. Yeah. You know, or like a moment in time or something. These are all actually studies of thumbnails from Instagram. I'm, I'm, yeah, girls are nice. Oh, oh, well, we can't show this clip. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, secret shapes, which you can find in my meds, meds map course. Yeah, I was actually really influenced by the uh, 90s, 80s anime, I'm trying to learn how that style kind of works 
So this is how your mileage kind of works, right? Yeah. People just see the finished result, but this yeah. is what kind of goes into it um, yeah. before that last picture. Like, I did all these drawings, but I, if I had to draw an anime thing right now, I don't know if I could do it. I'd have to, like, remember, right? Yeah, well, and I think that's an important thing is that, you know, it, it may seem like something you did well at a certain point, but a lot of it is warming up and... Um, I guess getting used to, like, like you're you're, you're not, uh, you don't know how to draw everything from scratch right away. You need to warm up. And you need to practice. Right. Yeah. You need to like let go of the desire or the you know, ego a little bit. Right. Um, do you guys have pens and pencils? Want to join this yeah, page? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Oh, I have a, I have this. I think that'd be kind of obnoxious. What is it? Oh yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I really hope the audio is good. Or right. decent at least. We have the Conte Pierre Noir. Oh, can I try that? Oh yeah, yeah. These things are super fun. I have a red pencil. The Clark Clark oh, Wendling. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I love this thing, man. But this is this is I, I guess on newsprint. Yeah, because yeah, I'm so great on this. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not. Yeah, this is like high resolution paper. Cottonwood sketchbook. Okay. You don't want like at least like draw. Uh, okay. Okay, Cottonwood takes it to the third dimension. Nice. The third dimension. <laughs> want to give him hair? Oh yeah. Maybe some dreads. Or Goku hair. <laughs> Yeah, today I was supposed to do a ref wedge, but whatever. I know we joked about the plug for minutes and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything, but I, I really do think I, I mean I'm 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 actually uh, technically working for a competing. Uh, oh, person, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, but I, re I highly recommend on that as a teacher. Oh, like, thank you, thank you. I, I've watched his videos in the past, and he's helped me a lot understand creativity and painting in general. Th um, thanks for interrupting, Stephen. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> we're interrupting anything great. Um, but how, when you are sketching in, yeah. in here, I, I did edit the meds map, so I understand how you break the forms up. Yeah. Are you thinking right now of? Mm -mm. the forms and everything or is it so intuitive to you that uh well you know natural. you know how like you're in zbrush and you're starting with a, a shape and you yeah. push and pull that's yeah. pretty much what i'm doing here oh, I, I, see. I don't really have a thing in mind it's more like putting shapes down and then it takes shape so you're sketching in 3d i like it exactly it's like sculpting on paper which is way better than zbrush <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding well, I, I, it's strange how I hear that that's a universal thing, whether it's in like at a place like the Grand Central Academy or the Watts Atelier or Art Center or Brainstorm or you know. Yeah. Everyone is is always talking about the idea of drawing as a uh, sculpting as a drawing or sculpting. Yes. You yes. know, it, it, it's such a universal thing, whether it's fine art or um, you know academic stuff or um, or concept art or whatever. You know, it's, right. some shapes down. Just, oh, okay. a, just a scribble that I can work with. Like right here. What, what dude? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll do one. Thanks, man. Oh, is that too rigid? I said scribble, but that's fine. Uh, the creative ones. process will show us the way. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's almost letting go and just like not wanting to do something specific and then um, letting it evolve into something. Yeah. I like what you do with the hair cushion. It's very flowy and very, very, very anime. Is that how you typically um, sketch in your own sketchbook? Like yeah. very flowy and free? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like do you have your sketchbook? Like yeah, I do. Oh, right, why don't you showcase it on this side? Okay, let's see. While I sketch this. It's, it is very messy. Die job in my day. I'm sure I don't have any incriminating drawings in here. <laughs> <laughs> Any sketches of Stan Prokopenko? <laughs> there is one. Uh oh. It's called the Prokopenko. The Prokopenko. Hey, do you want to guess what it is? Uh, the kangaroo? No, no. Oh. It's, it's it's 
It's a lot more uh, NSFW. Oh dear lord. Oh, nice shapes. Gesture, yeah, just gesture sketching. I, I was messing around with the brush pen for a while. Yeah. Um, I mean, my, my sketches are very just like very loose. I'm not even try, I'm not even trying to be a professional artist. It's more just more um, more just for funsies. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, my friend, uh, do, you, do you know Josh Sunga? No. He does these uh, robot things. He, he drew me, and I drew him. Mm. Yeah, you like interlock all these yeah, curvilinear yeah. shapes. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of time looking at Bridgman. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a certain like looseness that I like in your line. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like you're doing this and like letting the the gravity kind of pull it. Yeah, a lot of it is just lost and found, like drawing a shape and then not liking it and then just drawing over it. I think for, like, I really enjoy that. It's very iterative. I turn your square into a hat. Oh, thanks. Yeah, hey, you're welcome, dude. That's almost handsome Squidward. Yeah, almost handsome. This is a uh, Marshall. That? Yeah. What a man. Yeah, with all of these sketches in your sketchbook, you look like you um, are just committing to everything. You know, there's no hesitation. Yeah, well, I spend a lot of time at the Watts Atelier, and what we study is like, just like you do a lay-in, you spend 20 minutes doing a lay-in, and then you spend three hours like very meticulously trying to put in the drawing. Awesome. You know, thinking about it, which I think is important to do at a certain stage. Scott. Like, I think it's like, like none, none of these drawings are necessarily great drawings, but they're more, like I enjoy doing these and making the mistakes and them not being necessarily that good. Way more than just like making a really nice figure. Accurate, yeah. And I feel like I've learned a lot more from these just artistically, um, just about like putting in a shape and committing to it. Yeah. Um, then uh, I ever nice did. Form, yeah. I was trying to copy the Ville Art guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I he's so like, good. Yeah, he's amazing. This is a messing around with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like a high tech or something. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite drawing. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Do you want to name him? Do you want to name this guy? Um. Nothing comes to mind. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Yes. So tell us about the Watts Atelier. Like, that's uh, how different is that from what you might expect at like Brainstorm? So um, the Watts Atelier has a, has no lectures. No lectures. No lectures at all. And the thinking behind that is like ninety. You know, the saying at. And at those kind of at, at ateliers like that in general, is like you have a hundred thousand bad drawings in you, and the job of, of an art school is to get like ten thousand out of you, you know. And it's like guided, but the, the importance of that is it's like guided practice, you know. So you yeah, go and you okay. do a drawing. Um, it starts out with a twenty-minute demo or twenty-minute warm-up, five-minute break, twenty-minute demo, and then you spend the rest of the time just trying to do a version of that drawing yourself, you know. Um, and I think the importance of that is that it like uh, so no hand and no uh, hand holding. Yeah, no, no, no hand holding. And, uh, it's a uh, like accepting that creativity and drawing is, is very much like a a solo process you have to figure out on your own. Yeah, and they're just there to kind of uh, fix your mistakes if. Um, you know, and kind of do like some guided practice. And yeah, yeah. So if you aren't understanding shading or gesture, or they'll come and show you exactly what they meant by. Oh, right, right. They'll do tracings, and I, I'm not, I'm not like a, a good indication of what what students draw like at all. Mm. Like, I, I don't draw like any of the students there, and they're they're way better than me for sure. Um, like Christopher Periano or Lucas Kramer or uh, Kevin Cruz is a good friend of mine. Um, 
Didn't uh, Stan go to? Yeah, yeah. Watts? Stan, Stan went to Watts as yeah. well. Um, like the a school like that, they're really good at teaching you how to draw from from life and mm -hmm. um, from uh, you know just making fine art pieces. And, but they don't necessarily focus on uh, storytelling as much. They do have some classes, but uh, it's more about the draftsmanship. Yeah, yeah. It's way more about the craft. You know, it's, uh, if they could only teach figure figure painting and portrait painting and figure drawing they would totally only do that but oh but for the sake of curriculum yeah and it just you know not, not everyone wants to just be good at figure um, this is a croco <laughs> don't follow or subscribe to that please. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> unfollow and unlike unsubscribe um no but i i guess it's a uh, it's something that uh I really, I really do like the Los Angeles school. They're, they're great. Um, All right, cool. Well, we'll, we'll wrap this up soon because it's like a short thing. Yeah. Uh, any cool things come, happening for for uh, the Proco channel in that side of the world? Um, yeah. That you could talk about. Uh, yeah, we're releasing a bunch of new courses. Uh, it's always cool. Um, On Proco.com. Proco.com. I have I have my own podcast. I have my own thing separate from Proco. Let's talk about that. Yeah, because we're about to yeah, do a podcast. Because that's, that's way cooler, <laughs> <laughs> way better. Sketchy van podcast. Sketchy van. So I live in a van right now, and I'm uh, driving around the country. Van life. Yeah, and yeah. I am visiting all my friends, and Ahmed is going to be on the Sketchy Van podcast. How many have you done so far? Uploaded? Uh, uh, I've uploaded four so far. Nice. Um, yeah, they look great. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, I'll try to type that in the description of this. Yeah. Video. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Um, anyway, cool. I'm just gonna call it a day. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Sorry we don't have a reference Wednesday video today. Um, hope the audio is fine. And any last words, Stephen? Stay tuned for Meds Map Two. Meds Map Two. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Thanks.